What's going on guys? It's Flippin' Natalie and if you're new to this channel, I started flipping furniture with only $100 and now I've made thousands of dollars in pure profit. And in this YouTube channel, I show you guys everything. I show you guys how much I sell the piece for, how much I bought the piece for, what products do I use, and how I run my flipping furniture business right here from my home. If you like that kind of content, watch the whole video, see if you like it, and then consider subscribing. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a flip I did, but all of the mistakes that I did and what I could have done to avoid them and how you can avoid them too. I started refurbishing this piece in the end of January and now it's almost the end of March. I waited this long because I wanted the item to sell so I could say to you guys how much money I made off this deal. And I'm also glad that I waited because I wouldn't have as much knowledge as I do have now. I've learned so much and took the time to watch YouTube videos and people that restore furniture for a living or maybe just help me out a little bit and how I can help you guys not make the same mistakes I did in this video. To let you guys know a little bit what you're in for, basically you sit your strip for the first time and it, let me tell you, it did not go so well, but I used it since and now I know how to use it properly and hopefully I can teach you guys maybe not to make the same mistake I did. Hopefully this is informative and entertaining and you guys can see how much I made on this flip because it was a pretty good profit. I'm here at Lowe's and um, I always check the discounted paint section. This is nine bucks, nine bucks, but um, this is not the type of paint I like to buy. So gray, great color. I'm gonna show you what brand I like. This is the type of paint I like to get, the cabinet and furniture. This basically goes over everything because it's oil based. Yeah, and you can get whatever color you like. I usually get satin, but I feel like it's way too flat. So I think I'm gonna go semi-gloss. I think I'm gonna get a white and a black. I have a big thing of blue at home, so I think I'm gonna make a blue that's trendy. I was gonna get this one. This one is $13, and for the bigger one, it's 20 bucks. So I think I'm gonna go with this one because I don't know how much I'm gonna need. So might as well get the bigger one, right? So this is all the paint that I got. I did pay full price for this black. I was gonna pay full price for this one and a white. And then I was just having a conversation with them. I was like, man, when do you guys put out the discounted paint? And then I was just telling them, you know, I repaint furniture, you know, I just tell them, be honest, what I was doing with it. And he goes, oh, it's just different times. We try not to put out the same day. And then he was just kind of standing there for a while. And then he goes, you know what? He goes, um, I have this one. I have that one and if you want it you can have it he goes it's pure white and then for nine bucks he goes all it, it has is the stickers not on it so that's why we can't sell it i was like what that is just insane i was like thank you so much so i was just stoked on that like wow like i got this huge thing of white i was just gonna get a little thing like this for 25 bucks you know with tax you know it's just ridiculous he goes and then i'm gonna i'm gonna go look on what we have in discount and go backs and then he brought this back it's a gray i don't know if you guys can see that it's a gray a light gray and another light gray he tried darking in it but there was just too much white uh in it so anyway i got all this stuff and then i was paying for all this and he comes with this and he goes oh yeah and this is a pure white too for 250 so i got this one for nine dollars this one for nine dollars two grays a white for nine dollars a pure white and then a little one for 250 and then i did pay full price for this one but and then i got some uh strip right here like i mentioned in the beginning of this video a lot of these clips were from two months ago so i know a little bit more now than what i did two months ago i'm not saying i know everything i thought it would be fun reacting to myself you know from two months ago and then maybe explaining along the way instead of a voiceover i can explain you know me reacting to what I would do differently and then uh, with the knowledge I have now. So let's get into it. We might be doing the biggest project yet. <sighs> if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, the person, the previous owner of this, thought it would be a good idea to put some type of plastic on here. So I gotta take all this hardware so off. So you're probably wondering why I would take on a flip like this. In the beginning, money was more valuable than time because I had a little bit of money to start up my business. So I bought this whole entire set for $25. In my head, I was like, it might be a little more work, but the profit is there. And strip it all down and uh, give this piece life again. I think this is where I messed up the first time is I should have tried scraping it with the scraper first instead of 
automatically assuming that I needed to strip it. It's all in here. I remember this. I tried screwing it, I tried hammering it inside, so what I did is I just flipped over the piece instead and I just nailed it in. I should have put a pilot hole, that's what I should have done. And then here I'm just gluing it, um, all the loose joints. Keep in mind that this is my first time using this type of stripper. I used stripper before of like the more harsh one. I'll put a picture of the one I used to use. This one was more environmental friendly. It, it doesn't have such a strong smell. So I was like, oh, I thought I'd try it out. But here's where I should have tried one out and then put it all in. But <laughs> I just went for it. I just put it all on there. So we're going to try this out. The citrus strip. Right now, here live for you guys. Um, I let it sit for about 15 minutes and um, it looks like it's doing something. So, I don't know if I should let it sit longer. It says 30 minutes? Okay, it's not coming up as easy, so we're gonna let it sit for longer and then uh, you guys will get my live reaction. But so far, this is when I realized I should have read the directions. Do it. <laughs> yeah, that's way better. Okay. Still not coming up completely. Maybe it still needs more time. Oh, All right. This one, this one actually scraped pretty well, but about half of them had designs, so it wasn't so much easy as just scraping it. You just know? to do that one, it took me three minutes. So a thousand more to go. Yeah. This, see, this one has a design. It wasn't as easy. That first one was actually, I think, the easiest. So you can see here that it's starting to get dark. It did get dark on me. I think I finished is that I cleaned it off with uh, mineral spirits. I guess I didn't probably clean it good enough. You're going to see later that I literally had to scrape each individual one with the scraper, which if I tried doing that in the beginning, which I think it would have worked, um, I probably could have avoided all of this. The directions say that you can leave it on there for 24 hours, which is probably true, obviously. They know their product, but you cannot let it dry out. Um, and that's where I think people run into the problems is that they let it dry out. And um, that's where I had my problem here. And then it turned into like gunk and it was not fun. Yesterday, I spent four hours just doing what you guys seen in the time lapse. Um, it got dark on me. Today, the goal is to get this thing sanded down. It's gonna be a lot of sanding. You can see all the gunk is like, it's like shiny. So all that was like, um, I had to use a scraper. And then this is where sometimes I kind of gouged the wood. And I even tried going with mineral spirits and cleaning it up again. Now this is not common. The, what you guys are watching here is not common. Um, people don't just put like plastic over their dressers. If you guys do see something like this, stay away from it far away. But this is not common. Usually people put, you know, paint or stain or polyacrylic. But I've done plenty of the dressers since then. And most of the time, Stricture Strip um, works perfectly. And in a video coming up, I'm going to show you guys probably the best technique how to use your sister strip. So stay tuned for that. Let's keep going. But there's still product on it. Um, whoever put that plastic on it, put glue and then put the plastic. And then me just going in with the scraper and then me sanding it after I thought I tried to take it all off. But here I'm going in and scraping it off. And that took way quicker than stripping it. Okay, this is that's solid. the aftermath. Okay, so this is my next big mistake. I'm gonna mistake. go in with some wood filler. I don't know if this is the right one I should have bought. Um, I was grabbing it in a hurry and I just grabbed something that looks familiar, but now reading it, it says uh, for small yeah. defects. So obviously small defects. So like I said, I was in a hurry and I just grabbed something familiar. But uh, no, that is not good. So <laughs> hopefully this is a small defect over Don't here. Roast me in the it doesn't comments. look too small to me, but I'll let you know how it goes. Oh my gosh. Look how much I'm using. Okay, let's probably definitely gonna need another coat. I should have used Bondo or wood epoxy. No wood filler. Wood filler is for small defects. Um, I'll link to all my supplies down in the description when I use now. But yeah, let's... This is I'm not finished sanding, but um, see all this? I still need to scrape. 
all this out. So this is what I was talking about as what I was scraping is that I was going in with the razor blade and scraping um, the whole entire piece. All right, so I scraped and I broke my razor. So I'm gonna go in with the sander and see what oh, that here does. Here I'm just scuff sanding and I'm getting ready to paint. already spent at least 10 hours on these just alone I know that seems like a lot it is a lot for me to work on one piece but like I said in the beginning it was gonna be I already knew it was gonna be my biggest project yet because I was stripping it to you know back to the bones of what it was I went to Lowe's and I got that black paint and I already had the blue so I just mixed blue and black together and I just got this pretty blue painted the two nine stands uh, blue the whole entire thing the tops and everything because I found out later um, when I was stripping the top that it was not real wood they didn't even have a veneer that's how bad of low quality it was but anyway so I realized uh, maybe I should try painting the whole entire thing yesterday I was in a time crunch I couldn't complete this I painted the nice stands blue and I hate it I don't like it so Nathaniel got this color for me the other day. It's the furniture paint, the one I like. I super recommend this, even though it costs a lot. You can get your money back once you sell your piece. Um, but it's it was two fifty, and it's like a brown red. And then I got this like purplish color. So I'm gonna mix these two colors together and see what kind of brown I can get. I also have black as well. I'm just trying to use this up. I don't know what I'm gonna use purple for. So. Let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm trying out my little technique that I thought was going to work in my head. It turned out to be way too red and purpley, obviously. All the colors combined can make like a brown, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But what I actually did was, is I'll put a screenshot of the varnish I used on top. I had a little can of it and I just, I painted over everything. I didn't explain that in the video, so. Okay guys, I'm going to end the reaction video here. But the wood is damaged. When I was scraping this off, the wood got damaged, and you know what that means. I did everything I know what to do with this dresser. What we got here is a broken piece of pool and then I had to cut it and grind down the edges and I found a gold metallic permanent marker and I'm cleaning up the edges here. You'll never know real good that it was ever cut. In the painting industry we call this blending. <laughs> Put the hardware back on. Now let's take some pictures. I just listed these dressers and two nightstands. I listed them for $4.50. You'll see how these do. Um, I put so much work into them. I'm not even lying, guys. This this when I said this was gonna be my biggest project yet, uh, I wasn't lying. I at least put 15 hours of work, if not 20. For how bad they looked. I mean, do you guys remember how bad they looked? They were bad. <sighs> I don't even want to go back. But we're going to see if these sell. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys updated. I want to update you guys on this dresser that I put my sweat and tears into. Actually, after a couple days of posting it, someone actually messaged me and said that they were willing to buy it. But after the month ended, if it was still available. And all I said was, okay, sounds good. Thank you. And, you know, I should have said is that... I was willing to take a deposit if she wanted to go ahead and just wait. She could pay a little bit now and then pay the rest later. But naturally, I completely forgot that she even messaged me. Last night, I remembered that she reached out to me and I reached out to all the people that reached out and gave me offers. 
and I messaged the lady that said that she was willing to buy it at the end of the month and I asked her if she was still interested and she messaged me back today this morning and said that she's actually still interested in it but she doesn't get her bonus until the end of the month like she mentioned before. If you want, you can send me a deposit and I'll hold it for you. And she said, awesome, sounds good. Does $100 sound good for holding? I got really excited. I sent her my information of Zelle and she went ahead and Zelled me $100. I don't want to end the video here and just be like, we did it guys, we made the sale. I want to go ahead and just wait it out and just make sure that this sale goes all the way through. Today is the day that we are delivering this set. I am so happy this is going to be out of my living room. It it was like literally storing like right here. It was a little closer, but I cleaned them off. She already zelled me the rest of the money, the 350, so that makes a total of 450 because she gave me 100 to hold it. And we're actually going to go deliver it now. She lives 5 minutes away, so not too shabby. that piece is out of my living room we can talk about the numbers it's personally my favorite part I spent $25 on this piece so in total with the piece and the supplies I spent $58 and then plus like $7 in gas going and getting it and delivering it so when you subtract 65 from 450 we get a whole total profit of $385 which is not too shabby now to say if it was worth it or not um, it doesn't really matter anymore. So that being said guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video and if you did, please give this video a like and you can even comment if you want to and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay flippy.